and it's gonna be a bit different. Now, the next thing you notice is that the color of the text is actually blue, which is the default color that comes with a new website. And if you look here, the color is actually like this very kind of, uh, like this almost black, but it's a bit more gray as well. So we wanna change the color. So what you could do is when you click on this element here, you could go to style and then go to text color and then change the color right here. But you don't wanna change the color for each single element. What we wanna do is we wanna set up some global colors, uh, basically our default colors for the entire website. So that when we add new elements, then we always have the same color that we want for our website. And that also makes it easy to change the colors later on once the website is finished. So to set up our default colors, we wanna to go to the hamburger icon here on the top left and then go to site settings. Then go to global colors here at the top. And then here we can see the default colors that are currently active. So we have this blue that we've seen here with the text which is the primary color. Then we have a secondary color, a text color, and then also an accent color. And then we can also add some more colors here at the bottom. So now we want to define what kind of colors we want to use for our website. Now for the example website that I'm gonna build here in this video, I've used this green here as an accent color. And then for the text colors, I've just used this very dark gray. And then for the bottom, I've also used some kind of dark gray as well as the background here. So a very simple color setup, which I'm gonna recommend to you to use a simple one when you're starting out. You can always change this later on uh, for your website. Now the easiest way to set up your colors is by going to a site called coolers.co. I'm gonna leave all the website links and tool links down below in the description. And then here, click on start the generator, and then you can set up your colors here. Now I'm gonna simply do three different colors. So I'm gonna click on the X uh, twice. So we only have three different colors. And then what you can do is just hit uh, a space, the space bar on your keyboard, and then it will just generate different color palettes that you could use for your website. So if you like a specific color, so for example, we like this one, we could just click on the lock icon and then this color will basically stay here. And then if we hit the spacebar again, it will just change to other colors that will fit well with the first one we have chosen here. So you can do this and just find out the colors you want. Um, I've basically created my own palette for this website here, which I'm also gonna link down below in the description. So if you wanna use the same colors, uh, for building the website and then later on you can still change them. You can use this palette as well. So this is gonna be the accent color, this is gonna be the text color, and then this we're gonna use as a background color for some parts of the website, I believe it's just the footer. So I always have this open here, so I can just click on the copy uh, icon here and then it will copy this color code that I can simply paste into um, my, my default colors. So first for the primary color, I'm gonna copy this code here. So I'm gonna click on copy here, and then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna change this primary color. I'm gonna just paste that in here, control V. And as you can see, now the color has changed. I'm gonna use the same color for the secondary color as well. And also for the text color, just to keep things simple. Like you don't wanna um, do too many complex things when you're just starting out building a new website, um, especially if you're a beginner. So then for the accent color, we're gonna um, go back to our palette. Then we're gonna use this one here, copy, and we're gonna paste that in here as well. And then I'm also gonna add a new color for a background color. I'm gonna click on add color here. Then I'm gonna name this one back ground number one, and I'm gonna copy this last color by clicking here, going back, and then choosing the color like this. And that's everything we need to do. So these are the colors I'm gonna use. I'm gonna click on update here at the bottom to save this. And you can also see that the heading we've added before, the color has now also changed to the default primary color we have set here. Now what we also wanna do is define our default fonts for the website. So let's go back by hitting the back icon and then going to global fonts. And then here, if you want to, you can just keep the global fonts that are set up by default for all the primary, secondary, and so on. Um, I personally gonna change this, so I'm gonna click on the pen icon, and then the default one for the primary is Roboto. I'm gonna change this to Open Sans, so I'm gonna choose this one here, 
and then it changes as you can see here. If you want to, you can also choose Roboto or any other popular um, fonts. I would just make sure you use basic fonts that are easily readable and not use like very fancy ones because people just don't like to read um, text in fancy fonts. It's kind of more difficult to read. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same font for all of the different text um, types. So I'm going to um, use Open Sans here as well. And then for the text as well, Open Sans and then for the accent as well. So most of it was a Roboto, which again is also fine. So you can use that if you want to, but I wanna make sure you, you know how to change your font styles. 